Oops, they did it again. Guess what, Fast Foodie Nation? It's a Tuesday, and you know what that means. It's time for Crumble! It's not time for Crumble Cookies. If you're a little confused, then I'll explain in just a second. But welcome everyone to the Fast Foodies YouTube channel. If this is your first time tuning in, then make sure to strap yourselves in. You see, every Tuesday, I post a crumble review, but it's not always, as I mentioned, and as you'll see here in just a second, a crumble cookie review. More on that in just a second. But to make sure you don't miss out on next week's crumble review or the week after that or the week after that, guess what? All you gotta do, all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button. It's super easy. Even my grandmother can do it. Now, the reason why every Tuesday doesn't feature a crumble cookie review is well because I don't know what's going on with crumble. I think they're transitioning to more of a, uh, what, like a, a dessert bakery store, not just a cookie store. They've been coming out with cinnamon rolls, ice cream sandwiches, muffins, cupcakes. I'm, I'm sure I'm forgetting something, but I have been reviewing all of them. And so when I saw that crumble came out with this brand new cookies and cream crispy treat, I had to go and pick it up and review it for you guys. Even if it meant I had to pay an extra dollar. Honestly, <laughs> I think that's why Crumble is coming out with these new and different desserts because, you know, the cookies are always like, what, four or five dollars? They're always the same price. But the one thing that isn't a cookie is always like a dollar or two more expensive. So I think they're just trying to get a little bit more money out of us. But hey, hey, I'm not complaining. At the end of the day, it's still Crumble. Most of the time, they're always pretty darn delicious, except the, the cinnamon roll. That one was kind of a miss. But man, look at this. This is a brick. I mean, honestly, I can see why they charge an extra dollar for this. This is pretty much like two cookies, to be honest. This thing is huge. And it's got the Oreo crispy. Let me read the description of this, honestly. I, when I saw this, I was, I was impressed. Um, so Crumble writes, this is a large classic crispy bar. It's pretty darn large. I think that's putting it lightly. <laughs> Made even more scrumptious with a mix of cookies and cream pieces and melty white drops. Man, it sounds delicious. It looks delicious, but does it taste delicious? Let's find out. Look at that break. Woo. They nailed it. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it short and sweet, unlike <laughs> this brick. It's a 10 out of 10. I mean, <laughs> is it the best thing I've ever had from Crumble? No. But is it the best Rice Krispie Treat I've ever had? Probably. <laughs> this thing <laughs> is delicious. It's probably gonna take me two weeks to finish this darn thing. But man, if you guys like your Rice Krispie Treats, yeah, you guys need to pick it up. Um, as I mentioned, some of the other desserts have been a little bit of a miss from Crumble, but this Rice Krispie Treat, they knocked it out of the park. Man, Crumble, way to go. I'm impressed. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's Crumble review as much as I enjoyed this Crumble brick. And we'll catch you guys back here next week for, honestly, who knows what Crumble is gonna think of next. <laughs> but I can't wait to find out. If you made it to the end of this video, then I'm sure that you want to become a fast foodie as well. So all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. And to see exclusive behind the scenes footage, then you can head on over to Instagram and follow the fast foodies at fast foodies review. Well, this one, this one's going to be a little bit different. I got some bad news, Fast Foodie Nation. I, I don't know how to break it to you, but you guys know, all of you that have been subscribed, you have known that for the past, I don't know, year or so, every Tuesday, I have posted a crumble cookie review. And today, I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing a crumble cookie review. I know, I know, I know, it's a, it's a sad. Just kidding, Fast Foodies! 
It's a Tuesday, come on. I got my crumble cookie shirt on. I got my crumble hat ready to go. Who do you think I am? Come on, come on. This is a fast duties. It's a Tuesday. It's time for crumble. Actually, I wasn't completely messing with you guys because you see, I'm not doing a crumble cookie review. No, no, no. Fast foodies. Today, I'm doing a crumble cake review. And today, I'm not reviewing any old crumble cake. No, no, no. This is the brand new, never before seen, Tres Leches. Oh, cake. wow. Now, I don't know what it is with crumble. I'm not sure if they're going through a little bit of an identity crisis right now. I got to fix my hat. <laughs> As I was saying, if they're going through a little bit of an identity crisis right now, because you know, like, what was it? Two, three weeks ago, they thought they would start doing cinnamon rolls, but then that was only there for one week. And now we got a cake on the menu. <laughs> what's, what's next? Are we gonna be seeing cupcakes? I don't know, fast foodies, but what I do know is whatever that they come out with, I will be reviewing right here on the Fast Foodies YouTube channel. So make sure that you don't miss out. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But now back to the star of the show, this, this Tres Leches cake. This is a soft, warm, well, I think it was warm. It's not warm anymore. <laughs> it's a soft, soft cake, drenched or drizzled or soaked. Um, I forget what adjective they use to describe it, but there is some Tres Leches sauce, then obviously some whipped cream, and and a little sprinkling of cinnamon now i do believe that crumble used to have a tres leches cookie and i'm pretty sure i reviewed it if i did and if i can find that review i'll play it after this review because well right now i want to eat this tres leches cake now normally i uh I kind of split it, split the cookie in half, but I don't think that's gonna work. So I gotta grab my tasting fork and tasting knife. I do wish, just if I, I will say this looks, this looks exquisite. This looks incredibly delicious. But the one thing that's missing, I think if they topped this with some sliced strawberries, I think that would have been the icing on the cake. Never go wrong with some uh, some nice red strawberries. Oh, this is oh look at all that sauciness going on. Now I didn't have the best experience with the crumble cinnamon roll, so let's see if this uh, this cake goes a little bit better than that cinnamon roll went. Crumble. <laughs> I gotta give it to you. Uh, I wasn't expecting that much after, as I mentioned, having that cinnamon roll. I thought you guys know you stick to your stick to your cookies, you know, stay in your lane. But man, you guys, you guys redeemed yourself with this one. Let me tell you. Think of like a like a delicious. Think of like a a pound cake that's soaked in like a horchata sweet vanilla cinnamon sauce. And then that that uh, whipped cream on top. My oh my, fast foodie nation. We have ourselves a winner. This is this is dangerous. This is incredibly good. Crumble. If you guys come out with any more cakes, I will be at your door before you know it. This <laughs> for uh, for the very first time coming out with a cake. Yeah. You guys did an exceptional job. The one thing that's missing, as I mentioned, are those strawberries. If you had those strawberries, I could see myself giving this a 10 out of 10, but at it, as a, got a little ahead of myself. As is, I'm gonna be giving this 9.5 out of 10. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's crumble cake review. And we'll catch you back here next week for, oh, next week's my birthday. Stay tuned for that one. That's gonna be a fun one. All right. See you next time. If you made it to the end of this video, then I'm sure that you want to become a fast foodie as well. So all you have to do is hit.